Hello, 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 my lunar loves, my, 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 I adore you guys. I uploaded one video of the White Lotus Flower um, sex oracle deck reveal, and I mean, all I get is, missed you, been waiting for your videos, you guys. I love you guys so much. You guys just make my freaking night and more. I can't ask for better souls to connect with, and I will stand by that. And, you know, just like I was, um, you know, I had a friend uh, reach out to me regarding, you know, um, my brand here. And the truth is, is that I've never, ever seen anything in this channel other than messages that I'm trying to get out to you guys. You know, I'm connecting with you guys. I get out the messages that Spirit wants me to. And I don't, I don't, I still, I swear to God on everything I love and more, even on my son, okay, this is how serious I am, that I love doing this. I fucking love putting out the messages to you guys. You know, a few times I've hit a few bumps in the road where people have been rotten, nasty people, you know, that's not who they are because that's not what God created, but they're just so fucking rotten. People can be mean out here, okay, and that's the truth. It's internet warrior, um, you know, and... You know, a few times I almost threw in the towel, you know, with all the energies coming through. But the truth is, is that you guys matter to me most. The people that want to hear the messages, the people that truly show love and support. You don't have to buy a fucking reading. You don't have to, you know, if you guys watch the AdSense, that helps me a lot, believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, you guys who just shower me with your beautiful, supportive comments. You guys who have freaking reached out, making sure I'm okay. You guys who connect with me you know on instagram follow me on instagram you know everyone who has been there in my life in one way or another thank you okay i i have run into a few bumps during this channel but i still don't know how to this motherfucking day how i got fifteen thousand fucking subscribers that's just amazing that that blows my mind i i still i still feel like i'm just this girl reading the fucking or woman i should say <laughs> I'm in my 30s and I'm calling myself a girl like, you know, I just see myself as a person who reads off the cards, whatever, whatever comes out. And, you know, I see the first thing that comes to mind. I've never considered myself psychic, clairvoyant, claircognizant, none, none of that. You know, like I've kind of like played with it once in a while. Like when I first started the channel, it was like, oh, I'll show your abilities. Did it? I'm like, well, I think I'm this. It didn't feel right, though. What feels right is that I sit here and I create these for you and I say the messages as spirit wants me to say them. And that's that. You know, and it's just like, it's been an honor, you guys. It's been a fucking honor. I fucking love you guys so much. Like, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and more. And it's just like, you know, I've gained some real hardcore soul connections along the way. And, you know, I have lost some friends, unfortunately, along the way. But it is what it is. This is what I do. And this is who I am. Um, you know, big shout out, you know, just to everyone who has purchased my sister's book, who has read my sister's book when it was free. Y'all leave her a little comment and a little message on Amazon. Okay, just like I love reading your comments. She wants to read yours as well. Give her honest feedback. She wants to know what she's doing wrong, what she's doing right. You know, what did you enjoy it? Did you didn't? <laughs> did you didn't? <laughs> You know, you guys, but overall, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of you who have been so supportive. Thank you so much. My day ones love you guys for all of you just joining me. Thank you for visiting. I love you, too. Um, as always, you know, for those that I have had negative encounters with, you know what? I want to say what I really want to say, but I love you guys. I pray for you guys. OK, at the end of the day, you don't phase me. It is what it is. OK, um, to those who have shown nothing but love support you know even if you're silent i love you guys so much love you love you love you guys so much um you know i was doing personal readings for a while i needed to take a slight break from that okay i'm committing to all of the readings that i have confirmed okay um tonight and tomorrow i'm working on all of the readings that were purchased on the 9th of june okay so um yeah be expecting those to be uploaded by tomorrow night okay um, or maybe tomorrow morning. Who knows? OK, um, right now I am closed for readings. But again, thank you to everyone who purchased a reading. Guess what? You guys, my fucking truck is back on the road and I love you guys. You guys helped make it possible. I'm forever grateful. Seriously, for those of you who just sit on my videos and you just let the ads roll by. Guess what? Y'all help me, too. <laughs> you guys truly helped me. I love you guys. For those of you who are sending me, you know, 
donations thank you so much i mean even those of you who just sent your fucking prayers and your good energy for things to just go right in my life thank you so much okay just one more little prayer because i am in a little funk lately but you know that's just lunar dream tarot i'm human too just say a little prayer for me say a prayer for my family and hopefully everything gets resolved asap okay love you love you love you guys um this reading is going to be inspired by mercury retrograde which i believe goes into retro tomorrow yippee we are on one hell of a ride you guys i have been feeling this energy just pulsate at my temples at my crown chakra it's just been so hectic since about a mm, week and a half ago the shadow period totally kicked my ass and now we're going into it so i'm buckling up for one hell of a ride honey i hope you guys are very very prepared um you know i've really been trying to work with grounding exercises and everything and it's just it's been no good i've been meditating though i did some visualizations uh this morning so hopefully by god that'll start to help me um Today's reading, though, like I said, is related to Mercury Retrograde. What messages are for you, okay? What messages does Spirit have for you? I need to say a disclaimer, okay? I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to talk to you like I am your older sister, okay? Like, um, older sister, auntie, whoever the hell you want to consider me, I don't care. That's fine. But I'm going to be very straight out with you with whatever messages come out from Spirit in these piles, okay? There are three today, okay? And you're going to choose by the spiritual as fuck card. <laughs> I love this deck. Um, and, you know, I was really inspired because I have this spirit guide, okay? I have a spirit guide. It's a him. Still don't know his name. Um, but I nickname him Richard because the other word for him is dick. Like, he is just something else. And I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be funny. It's just seriously how I feel. I feel bitter sometimes because this guy really lays it into me. I don't know where he's from. I'm still trying to get the mystery into that or solve that mystery, I should say. But... He's really, really kept me on my toes. And what I don't like about this guide, I respect him because my other guide said, you know, it's just like that one friend that you're just like, no, uh, I can't really stand their energy and, you know, <laughs> you avoid them. But my other guides are like, you know what? He's necessary right now, okay? Because you got tough times ahead. And I'm like, all right, fine. Um, but yeah, sometimes like I'll feel like a presence wherever I'm at. And I'm like looking around like it's a ghost or something and it's him. And, you know, like, especially when I was, like, really, really depressed the other day. And, you know, I was just like, you know, when's shit going to get better? When's life going to pick up? Blah, blah, blah. Like, right away, I'm just hearing, like, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Okay, you've been through worse stuff. Like, straight out, I'm just like, oh, my God, you're so mean. But you're right. <laughs> he likes to keep me on my toes, ladies and gentlemen. So he is a new guide as of, like, a few months ago. He's my most recent one. I think he's, like, an in and outer I don't know. For those of you who are familiar with spirit guides, please let me know. Do you guys, do any of you guys have a guide like this? Because I feel halfway crazy sometimes. But, you know, like I said, um, he's really, really kept me on my toes. And it's just like, you know, he's there. And sometimes during readings, he has popped in indefinitely. And, you know, it's it's been eventful, <laughs> to say the least. Alrighty, so we have three piles here for you today. Okay, what messages are coming out to you, especially during this Mercury retrograde? Okay, what does spirit want to get out there? So pile number one fuck out of here pile number two you are a product of what you believe pile number three call bullshit on your bullshit okay you can choose one pile you can choose more than one but as always as i always always say please only take what resonates and leave the rest okay please you'll do me a huge solid by doing so um with that I'll see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. For those of you that chose, fuck out of here. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, we're going to start with the um, rebel deck, okay? I didn't lay out the cards, but let's just get through it. It says you equals tight ass. Loosen the fuck up, control freaks. Don't get laid. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay you think someone is lying they are okay a little contradictory that's okay right get the fuck out of your head get in your heart it misses you alrighty 
All right, so you have Temple Healing Creator God Imagination, okay? So already it's like your manifestation skills are like boosted times a thousand, okay? And I really feel like Spirit's trying to tell you, you know, like, go with your intuition and stop kicking it aside. It's like, you know, stop trying to control destiny as it is, but, you know, take more control in, you know, creating your reality. I know that sounds a little contradictory, but that is your big test, is learning when it is a contradiction and not following it and learning when it's actually a lesson um i feel like spirit is really in your ear right now like they're really trying to communicate with you through the stars through birds they they want some kind of balance in your life and what i'm what i'm getting here is that it's like you're kind of like there's fearless in work so i feel like you know you're kind of freaked out when it comes to maybe walking away from a job or you know like starting a new job elsewhere looking for a new job like for some reason, I feel like you might be just a little too comfortable where you're at as well. It doesn't have to apply to a job. It can be like a field of study. It can be like with family. Like you're scared of change and you know that's what's needed. Um, let's see here. I feel like part of this change is finally realizing someone for what they are, okay? And it's like you keep trying to make excuses. Um, it's like, you know... I feel like it's kind of like the other way around where it's sometimes, you know, that, that one saying is like, you know, uh, it's not, a, I don't even remember the saying, but don't try to put your whole heart into it. Okay. Be more logical as well. And it's like, if you feel someone's being dishonest with you or using you or, you know, just not telling you the truth, you know, you've got to honor that that's your intuition and it's there for a reason. Okay. So I really feel like spirit is saying like, wake up, you know, wake up to the signs that I'm giving you. Yeah, I feel like you're also, you're in fear of like healing as, I mean, uh, yeah, healing as well. And I feel like, you know, you're kind of thinking like, oh, no, this person's not lying or the situation's not bad. And, you know, you're really convincing yourself. Okay, but what you're really doing is just hurting yourself and you are kind of... Um, delaying a great change that needs to take place you have protection stars and timing and naughty or nice okay um uh oh i don't know why i'm feeling this but i feel like for some of you out there you might be in a relationship and someone new has come along, okay? And I feel like, you know, I don't feel you're cheating, but I feel it's more like, you know, someone else is cheating on you and you're like, two wrongs don't make a right. But it's like, why the hell are you going to stay in that relationship anyway? Okay, that's very specific for about like three of you out there. You have movement towards balance yet again. You have perception, reunion of the souls and uh, shoot, I can't read that. Sexual energy, okay? So look, be honest with yourself if you feel something's not right you got to honor your intuition and then if you feel that you are falling for someone okay even if you're with someone else it's like it's time to leave that person it's time to go to where your heart leads you okay because i feel like it can really really um benefit you if you're honest with yourself instead of lying to yourself and telling yourself well everything's going to work out everything's going to be all right no you need to leave the situation and you need to get healed okay and i really feel as well that for some reason, there's someone out there that really needs to probably start exploring their sexual energy. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> with the um, you tight ass and, you know, control freaks don't get laid, it's like loosen up once in a while and allow yourself to kind of, you know, have that intimate connection with someone, you know, like it doesn't hurt. And I don't know what it is. Maybe you're just too dead set on finding the right one. Um, maybe you're a little too picky. But I feel like Spirit's really telling you, you know, now's the time to kind of open up quite literally. This is not even a sex reading, but I'm just feeling like, you know, you need to like loosen up a little more where you don't take everything as serious. You know, it's time to revisit that inner child within you, you know, live careless, live free. Don't try to control the outcome of every situation because it's not going to always come out into your favor. It's not always going to come out the way you want to. And then you're going to end up being more disappointed than ever before. I'm also feeling like you guys are meeting someone and they are the one, but they're not your type. And you're kind of like pushing it off. You're like, no, like, you know, this person doesn't have enough money. This person's not good looking enough. This person irritates me. Okay, if they irritate you, that's fine. But, you know, I really feel like, you know, if nothing else, at least get to know this person as a friend and allow things to unfold as they should. 
Yeah, it's all about the way you perceive things and the way you're going to comprehend them. You know, it's all about perception in the way that, you know, it's how you really look at it and what you tell yourself, you know. It's like, um, it was like my favorite saying that I, that I said, like in another video, you know, when you're really going through bad times, you know, instead of thinking that you're falling, believe you can fly. And, you know, it's just like, try to see the positive in things. And again, manifestation, manifestation, manifest a more positive outcome. Realize that you have the power within yourself to change your future for the better and more. Okay. There is no more making excuses. Okay. Spirit has done enough and spirit wants to see you pick up the slack and wants to see you really go for your dreams and more because it's just your, your dreams are like within reach. I feel like you're bending over. You know what this card reminds me of? It reminds me of this saying on, um, it was like a meme for a long time, you know, like, I'm really trying to see, you know, your point, but I can't, you know, I'm trying to see your point of view, but I can't shove my head that far up my ass. And, you know, I don't mean to be so rude like that, but it's like, come on, you know, sometimes you got to let loose, you got to speak your truth. And sometimes, you know, you might hurt people's feelings, but you've got to start being honest with yourself. Okay. I feel like that's another test from spirit. It's something to do with work as well, though. It's like, you know, don't be afraid to take a chance. You know, Mercury retrograde, you're not really supposed to start anything new. But if there's something you're revisiting, if, you know, you're thinking of, you know what, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to invest more time in my business. You know, I feel like this is it. You know, Mercury retrograde is all about the re revisit, renew, redo, re, you know, just everything is RE, you know, going back and like kind of, you know, redoing things all over again. I feel that I really feel like if you do own your own business in any type of way, I really feel that if, you know, you just kind of go back and you allow yourself to like revamp it, let's say, I really feel you can be very successful this time. But you see, get the fuck out of your head, get in your heart, it misses you. So I feel as well, you know, school, work, relationship, you know, don't put, put your heart into everything you do. You cannot go wrong. OK, don't do it with, oh, I'm going to do this because I'm going to get this many, you know, uh, let's just say followers and I'm going to get this much more money. No, put your fucking heart into it. OK, you're doing something that you love. You can't go wrong. OK, when it starts to feel like a job um, and you know what? I heard this from a very, um, a very, very, very um, blessed person this morning. I really call her blessed, but. You know, she was saying that, you know, when it starts to feel like work, it's because you're not aligned with it. You know, you're not aligned with your purpose or something of the sort. And I feel like that is the message for this. You know, you're, you're aligning. The universe is trying to align with you, but you're not aligning with the universe. You need to just kind of stand there, take a deep breath and allow things and messages to come to you as they should. And I feel like you will be very, very receptive to the messages if you just take a time out and just allow them to come to you. I'm sorry for the helicopter going overhead. Okay, so the message with this, fuck out of here. I'm going to just read from the back, okay? Sorry for the helicopter, guys. Okay, so this is your mantra today. Say it in a New Jersey accent to add emphasis. If bullshit shows up, give it a fuck out of here and send it on its way. This should probably be a silent mantra at work and school. And pretty much anywhere in public, but it's still highly fucking effective, even when you keep it all to yourself, okay? So it's just like, you know, when people are trying to come at you with some crap, just say, you know what, get the fuck out of here. Or, you know, fuck out. However you want to say it, just do it. And just think of it as, you know, the bullshit's going to right away and you're going to, you know, be that much closer to your own purpose, okay? And again, without me even reading the back, it's like school and work. So I feel like this is a high, high career and education pile and there's nothing wrong with that. Don't allow yourself to get frustrated. Make the change you need to. Make the change that you're guided to make. And stop being so fearful, okay? Everything's going to work out. Everything. You just got to believe it is and you got to manifest that, okay? So the second card I got is stay away from people who make you feel like you're hard to love. Oh my God, I didn't even realize. Even if you've acted like a big old asshole, you still deserve to be around people who see the goodness of you and point goodness in you and point it out if they find you hard to love they ain't your people extra credit someone pointing out that you've acted like an asshole doesn't mean they don't love you figure out if you're getting tough love or no love you'll be way less of an asshole when you learn this <laughs> Alrighty, so 
you know, those who really love you, you know, family, friends, you know, your lover, you know, they're going to be honest with you no matter what, okay? But again, you know, it's it's up to you to really decipher who really has your best intentions at heart and who's really trying to, you know, put you down just because they're assholes, okay? And again, that is another test from spirit to you. Um, let's see here, last message. Worrying is a negative prayer. Oh my God. You don't need any kind of that angst angsty nail biting oh antsy excuse me jesus lord you don't need any of that uh kind of antsy nail biting bullshit today if you catch yourself worrying take a deep breath and ask the universe for what you really want not what you don't want the universe always lets you change your order and hell yeah you want fries with that supersize that shit <laughs> I love this deck. This deck is so freaking amazing. I should have done a reveal on this. I love it. Um, okay, so you know what? Again, it all comes to your matter, the matter of perception, you know? Instead of like, you know, thinking like, you know what? This person bothered me when I just say, you know what? This person's having a bad day. You know, I'm going to see the lesson in it. I'm going to go about my own day. I'm not going to let it, let it affect me. You need to just kind of change your way of thinking because right now I feel like you are in a negative. Right now I feel like, you know, you are in your own way to manifesting the life of your dreams. Okay. Um, stop bending over for people who are just purely trying to, you know what, and you're behind. Okay. Take control. Take control of your destiny and just know that you are a soul having the human experience, not the other way around. You're here for a reason and it's very significant. Okay. Whether it's significant to someone else, to yourself, to your family, to your friends, you are here and there is a reason behind it. But you got to give yourself more credit and don't allow anyone to kick you down, okay? So, again, don't allow stuff to get to you, okay? Anytime someone comes at you with some stupid stuff, you know, fuck out of here. Anytime, you know, or I guess, you know, with people, you know, allow yourself to finally you know, decipher who's really there for you and who's being a jerk to you. And then anything that's anxiety, that's not intuition. So don't follow it. Okay. And that is, that is a quote that I follow. I mean, most definitely. And another one that is my most favorite is when something goes wrong or, you know, when facing a challenge, don't, don't stress about what can go wrong. Get excited about what can go right. And trust me, you can do it. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I really feel you're going to hammer it. I feel like you're going to be fine, but you got to believe that you are, okay? you got to manifest that you are. And don't allow anyone to tell you different, okay? My pile number one, that is your reading. I hope it reaches the people that it needed to reach, okay? Take care and God bless you guys. You guys got this, okay? But believe you do, all right? I love you guys so much. See you later. Hello, pile number two. For those of you that chose... You are a product of what you believe, okay? This is your reading. So let's go ahead and start with the Rebel Deck cards. Get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Faced pillow now. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. You look like a shit show. Oh my God. You're a hot mess. In fact, clean yourself up. Okay. <laughs> rebel because fuck it okay i'll go with that <laughs> okay whoever made this deck i mean i love it but oh my god you're fucking harsh my goodness like i'm trying to like i was thinking in my head right now like how the fuck are these messages empowering but they're not that's why it's called the rebel deck right <laughs> Okay, look, you just need a little more time and attention to yourself, okay? Just, you know, the best advice is, you know, don't don't keep allowing yourself to wallow in, you know, the pits of maybe depression, anger, sadness. Um, you know, really, really put love and attention into yourself. You know, allow yourself to, you know, love yourself by maybe brushing your hair. Allow yourself to, you know, put on some makeup, put on some nice clothes, you know. Do something to truly love yourself, even if that means just sleeping and not worrying for the day, okay? I, I feel like, you know, you're really draining yourself of joy and pleasure by worrying about stuff that's unnecessary. I feel like, you know, you need a real big energy healing, and that's why I'm like, I'm 
focusing on this selenite, okay? So maybe you need like that type of cleansing where maybe you listen to some binaural beats um, or just, you know, call out of work for a damn day. Seriously, what the hell? Two days if you have to. Call out for a week if you can get um, a doctor's note, okay? Take time out for yourself. I'm really big on that, okay? It's no use to go to work stressed out. You're no good to nobody if you're stressed out and pissed all the time. Um, you know, and I really feel like this pile, you know, you're not investing time into yourself. Therefore, your energy is really, really dirty. Like, I feel like your aura could be like a really muddy brown, even a gray. That's not good. Okay. You got to love yourself in order to allow your to um, allow yourself to take care of others and love others. Okay. Otherwise, you're not helping yourself. Holy crap. Discernment, feminine energy changes it's all good oh wow okay hold on so it's like you know with guides and protection i really feel like your guides your guides must be some jerks too okay like your guide reminds me of the guide my new guide that i have right now my spirit guide okay i really feel like you know they're really telling you to like wake up and smell the roses find the joys and pleasures in life even if they're little ones okay um don't allow yourself to be so angry i feel like this pile for some reason is just wallowing in like maybe self-pity depression anger or something they won't let something go and you know i'm not saying you know forgive someone and allow them to walk all over you hell no that's not it but you know sometimes you gotta allow yourself to forgive and move the hell on okay this is something that i learned like so i learned it the hard way myself okay i told this story to someone before or maybe i put it in a reading i don't remember but you know as you guys know as i mentioned in earlier videos my truck was broken so, you know, I'm in this victim mentality. Your girl is human, okay? I'm in this victim mentality, though. And, you know, my dad comes to me and he's like, you know, it's going to cost this much for this part. And, you know, this is how I much this is how much I want for, you know, my time going up to, you know, this and that place to go pick up the transmission. It was an awesome deal. But at the time, I'm like, are you freaking serious? You're charging me like, are you are you crazy? And, you know, I ended up pulling an attitude with him. Come to find out, he did feel hurt about it. And he's like, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to go up there for you. You know, you you know, basically he left me to figure it out. I'm in this boo hoo victim mentality. And I'm like, oh, how can he do that? That's my dad. That's effed up. I end up in my pride. I had, you know, a lot of money at the time saved up. So what do I do? I hire this mechanic. He didn't even fix the problem with my car. It wasn't even running. I left it at that and then finally I'm like I'm never going to apologize to my dad and it's his fault still in the victim mentality. My guide was finally telling me like no, you were in the wrong too. You got to stop with your stupid victim mentality, go apologize to your dad and allow your truck to get fixed and you're going to see that all of this was unnecessary. I spent like a day or two, my mom was giving me messages about it, my own sister everyone okay and I, I remember that you know I actually you know I was just like you know what I am being an asshole Ooh, these helicopters and you know like I remember I was thinking you know what I am being I am being a jerk you know like I'm really stressed about this and I'm really this and that finally you know I just kind of my dad's a Capricorn okay so you can't just go up to him and just be like hey dad sorry you know and he's gonna be like oh don't worry about it you know, he's one of those December Capricorns that you just got to kind of watch yourself with. So I kind of just text him to, you know, just kill the awkwardness. And I'm like, you know what, Dad? I am an asshole. I am sorry. Um, you know, you could stay mad at me, but, you know, sorry. And I heard that the next day, you know, he came out and he was like talking to my mom over coffee. And my mom's like, my mom's like, you know, your dad had dimples and everything. He was smiling. She's like, but... Um, you know, he said you didn't have to apologize. And I'm like, oh, okay. Within one week, my truck was up, fixed, and running. And it was like half the cost of what it cost me for the parts that the mechanic didn't even fix to make my truck run. Oh, my God, that mechanic was so crooked. I'll never use him again. But, you know, just like that, putting that pride aside, you know, and allowing my dad to help me and getting out of this victim mentality brought me farther along in a shorter time than just sitting there and wallowing in my whatever it was anger okay and I feel like this is the 
Same thing as this pile, you know, whatever you're pissed at, whatever you're depressed at, get out of it. Get out of it quick. And if you can, it's like, you know, allow yourself, you know, especially if this person was trying to help you, try to see it from their point of view, okay? And I really feel like, you know, you can really learn something about yourself. You can learn something about them. And then you could get, like, not get your way, but you can allow your, your situation to get better much more quicker. Does that make sense? Just put your pride aside. However, I feel like, you know, something's happening and you feel something coming. And in this pile, something's coming. Something brand new. But you got to allow yourself to heal. You got to allow yourself to stop being in whatever this whatever state of mind you're in okay excuse me i'm moving some papers around but whatever state that you are in at the moment if it is negative and it is not making you feel good honey you got to get out of that mentality as soon as possible okay because i feel like you're very very near a brand new beginning but you are blocking your own success okay and if you block your own success it's not going to benefit you it's going to work against you and why are you why do you want to do that to yourself you know, why would you want to do that to yourself? Um, let me see here. Oh, wait. Okay, so what I'm getting here, okay, for my females, well, for everyone overall, okay, someone's having a baby. Someone's having a baby. <laughs> you got changes, it's all good. The feminine energy... This card is pregnancy to me and that's sticking out to me, okay? The swirly on her stomach. Then you have discernment, confusion, autumn, the bridge, new beginning. So for those of you who, you know, weren't expecting this, I really feel like you're getting pregnant. For those guys, you know, if you haven't been being, um, if you haven't been taking precautions, you're getting someone pregnant, okay? If that doesn't resonate at all and you have nobody, okay, I really, really feel that you're metaphorically giving birth to something, whether you like it or not. And I feel like this definitely depends on the energy that you are going to allow yourself to remain in, okay? So if you allow yourself to remain in a negative energy, you're going to manifest some stuff that is not favorable. You can change this. You have the power, but you have to, have to, have to, have to just change your mindset, okay? Forgive for the sake of your own peace. That's all I got to say. Just forgive, okay? Allow yourself to love yourself just a little bit, okay? And you can love yourself. It, it doesn't have to be a monetary thing. That's what a lot of people don't freaking understand. You can love yourself by allowing yourself to sleep that extra four or five fucking hours. You really can, okay? Allow yourself to just kind of relax for the day. Read a book, you know? Nourish your brain, you know? I don't really like TV too much, but it's like, you know, if you want to binge on a show just for entertainment, do so. As long as it's not in low vibration. Allow yourself to get lost for hours outside listening to music, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But allow yourself to be loved. Allow yourself to, you know, love yourself and get out of your own way. I just feel like that's the big message here. I feel like, you know, you're going to be giving birth to something that could be for your benefit or work right against you okay and again it depends on your mindset okay with this mercury retrograde you know what with this reading i don't feel like it's just in regards to mercury retrograde i feel like these are spirits um this is spirits messages to you okay what do you got to do to manifest your best reality another thing cleanse your third eye chakra cleanse your throat chakra okay cleanse it you can do this very simple. There are binaural beats, as I've mentioned. There are mantras. Wear blues. And just depending on the type of blue you're attracted to, that can signify the mantra. But you know what? You have two kinds of blue here and two kinds of blue there. So you have the indigo and the, um, and the bright blue, okay? So again, I feel like it's those two mantras. The third eye mantra is in between your eyebrows. Your throat chakra is right at your throat. Um, start practice. Oh, and I feel like this can manifest in weird ways as well. Like, you know, sore throat, 
migraines, um, just feeling confused overall, okay? Um, another thing is the solar plexus and the sacral chakra, okay? That is right below your belly button. That's right at your stomach. And again, you could, you know, for a woman, you can be getting cramps, guys. You're getting abdominal pain, stomach problems. Work on these chakras, okay? I love listening to med Meditation Manifesto, um, Good Vibes, um, Meditative Mind. Um, who else? Dr. Diane Guru for mantras. Uh, you, there's so much on YouTube. Just search it up, okay? What the hell is a little search? It's nothing. It doesn't cost anything. The way I instruct you guys to choose your mantras and your binaural beats, choose something that sounds right to you. If you just can't vibe with it, it's not for you, okay? But do give it a chance. Allow yourself to listen for about 10 to 15 minutes. Play it in the background. Go about your business if you're cleaning the house, reading, etc., etc., and allow it to take place. Usually, I listen to it before I go to bed at night, and you know, I'll just leave it playing with or without headphones. That helps me as well. If you really want to get into it and you're really serious about it, it does not cost anything to sit there, lie there with headphones in your ears, and meditate off of these beats or these mantras. They're very, very effective okay and another thing i learned is that you can eat fruits and vegetables um with these colors okay i don't really know what's bright blue maybe bright blue blueberries but i think that's more for the third eye chakra um but you know maybe like blackberries or anything blue you know to help you you know for the throat chakra say what you mean and mean what you say and don't hold back that's another way you can be blocking yourself um, 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 I feel like a very specific message for some of you. If you have cats, treasure their energy, keep them close because I feel like they bring a lot of clarity to your situation, especially if you're confused. Um, by autumn, though, everything's going to get better, okay? If you do the work and you cleanse yourself, you change your mindset and forgive what must be forgiven, I feel like by autumn, it's like you're rebuilding a bridge to something new, okay? Maybe it is kind of like, you know, Mercury retrograde. It's like rebuild that bridge, you know, renew your relationship, rekindle. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can be with family or friends, okay? Keep that in mind. But regardless, you're going to have a new beginning. And I'm feeling like, you know, for some of you, you're making up with the family member who's going to give you a new start in another part of the state that you live in um, or in another state or country overall, okay? They are really looking out for you, but... I feel like, you know, you have discernment. You can see the future. You know the steps to make. You know the steps that you need to make, but you're just not doing it, okay? So, again, you're getting in your own way. Stop doing that. And if the message is not clear to you now, what is up with all these helicopters flying over? Oh, my God. So, I'm just sorry, you guys. Hold on. So retarded. Okay, um, you need to get out of your own way, okay, and allow yourself to, you know, like I said, just, just change your mindset and you're fine, okay? You know the steps you need to take, you just don't, okay? But, you know, with, with the um, feminine energy card, allow yourself to just, you know, man or woman, it doesn't matter what you are, you're not beneath energy, okay? Masculine and feminine, feminine energy, allow yourself to just, you know, kind of let your guard down a little bit and see the situation from every point. I'm not saying this is just the feminine, but I'm just saying, you know, like that's just what I would do. I'm just I don't I don't know if that makes sense. That's just the, how the message is coming out. Um but I feel like too like I feel like some like some mother healing has to take place. This is very very specific for just a handful of you out there, okay? So mother healing has to take place or like something with the grandmother, something with the woman. This is your key to manifesting your best reality. And then I feel like you're going to hear like a little birdie, you know, said this or that. And this is going to be like your key to finally, you know, what you should do. Because I feel like right now nothing is quite clear to you for some of you. Like you're, it's not that, you know, you can't, you know, it's not that you can't discern the messages or like, you know, you're a mess like the card says. It's more like, you know, you genuinely are confused. But again, you know, rebel because fuck it. That's why, like, sometimes you just got to say to hell with it and do what you need to do and have no regrets, okay? Be yourself. But be yourself, you know, and see reason in all that you do. Does that make sense? 
I don't even know if that's going to make sense, but we'll see. But yeah, it's all good. Everything's going to be fine, okay? Everything's going to be fine. So the message is here. You are a product of what you believe. So if you believe you're a victim, you're going to be the victim. Things are not going to work out for you. If you believe that you can forgive and your life can improve, that's exactly what's going to happen. But the message, if you think you're a turd, you're probably going to act like a turd. Treat yourself like a turd and accept turd treatment from others. Okay, so again, it's like, just a moment, you guys. Okay, so I had to cough, you guys. And in saying this, it's like I was getting the message that sometimes you guys get choked up and can't admit when you're right. You just won't do it. Just admit it. You'll go, you'll go a long way. Just admit when you're wrong. Um, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to like kiss somebody's butt, you know, like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. No, just say, you know what? I was wrong. I shouldn't have said or did that. Sorry. That's all. Um, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? First off, you're not a turd. It's just physically impossible to be a turd. And a sentient being, wait, sorry it's just physically impossible to be a turd and a sentient at the same time but even if you still have been kind of turdy you believing you're golden will bring uh, on all that's golden um all that golden behavior god damn i cannot read sorry you guys sorry you guys let me start again okay but even if you have been kind of turdy you believing you're golden will bring on all that golden behavior and golden treatment today just believe you're golden if you liked it better there uh better there excuse me throat gremlin if you liked it better there go back to turd town tomorrow okay so yeah so i guess you know whatever you are that's what you believe so if you believe like oh i'm never going to find love guess what you're not if you believe like i'm a magnet for love i'm going to attract the partner i seek guess what you are you know if you if in you know this is a big thing lately where you know people are like oh you know one thing's happening after another and you know it's like I'm a magnet for negative stuff. Guess what? That's what's going to happen. If you believe the opposite, that's what's going to happen. Hoo-wee. The universe is your sugar daddy. Woo! My goodness. <laughs> you spent... I'm sorry. We've all spent enough time feeling fucked by the universe to assume it's time we got showered with some real dope shit. Spend today letting the universe treat you like the arm candy that you are. This simple act of changing your vibe to one of receiving and thanking the universe for all of its cosmic bling will do the trick your mantra today is bring it Bobby <laughs> I freaking love this deck this deck is just beyond fucking amazing I swear to god dude I wish I would have created something like this whoever created this love it love it love it um Okay, so again, that goes with believing what you are, believing, you know, your vibe, changing your vibe. Okay, it's all about perception. It's all about, you know, how you're going to... Just a moment. Sorry, guys. Yet again, here comes another freaking helicopter. It's getting on my nerves, you guys. Okay, but we'll work through it. Okay, so again, just change your vibe. Instead of, you know, having a lack mentality, have, you know... You're receiving everything you want and more instead of, you know, thinking that your dreams are nightmares. Think of your dreams coming true, but even better. It's all about perception. It's all about believing you can manifest a better outcome for yourself. OK, the last card. The wound is the place where the light enters you. OK, <clears throat> again, without even reading the back, it's like, you know, instead of looking at yourself as, you know, oh, I'm wounded. Oh, you know, I'm hurt. I'm going to bleed out. Instead, you know, believe, you know, that light can shine through and you can, you know, it's even better. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm like trying to listen. Like, is that another helicopter passing over? Just a moment, you guys. You know what? I'm starting to think that somebody around here knows I do tarot readings and they don't want me to get the message to you. But again, it's all about perception, right? <laughs> The message, um, pick one time in your life when you've been hurt and ask how it's made you golden. Did it make you more tender hearted? Did it open you up when you were once closed down? Did that heartbreak lead you to more connection with spirit? Can you get just a little teensy tiny bit grateful for it? Fuck yeah, look at you. You're like a wounded disco ball inside. <laughs> so that's really, really amazing, you guys. Um, you know, and it's just like, you know, instead of, you know, like, oh, so much stuff is happening to me, blah, 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 you know, look at it as, you know, what's the lesson in it? 
instead of asking spirit why is this shit happening to me you know just look up to the sky and be like you know what what lesson do you want me to learn spirit and i promise you things will get better for you but it's all about perception it's all about believing that you know you're not destined for doom and gloom you're destined for great things you're destined to do you know things that you're destined to you know you're destined and deserving for things that are you know going to uh, really benefit you in life okay never ever doubt yourself the more you think that bad stuff's going to happen the more you believe that you know um you're a magnet for drama, the more you're going to attract it, okay? So change your vibration as soon as you can. And it's really simple, you know, it's just a simple question, what's the lesson in it, okay? That, you know, if you work in customer service, you know, this person was a turd to me, you know, what was the lesson in it? Um, this person cut me off on the highway, okay, God, what's the lesson in it? Because you don't know if that person was in a rush, they had to go to the bathroom, their car's like acting up, they're trying to hurry and get to the mechanic shop, it's not your problem, it's theirs. Um, you know, just overall, you know, try not to take everything so personally is a message I'm getting. Take care of yourself and love yourself. Honor whatever your body is telling you. And just know that everything's going to be okay. Okay? I can promise you that. Everything's going to be okay. By autumn, by fall, okay? You're going to have a new beginning in life. If it's a family member you need to make up with, friend or whatever, they're going to present a new opportunity to you as well, okay? And again work on your chakras the third eye throat chakra solar and sacral okay and i feel like you're going to be just fine Alrighty, pile number two that was your message i'm sorry if i rambled on for so long i love you guys so much take care and god bless you guys okay i'll see you later hello pile number three for those of you that chose call bullshit on your bullshit okay now you guys might want to watch pile number two, okay? It could be related, but only if you're called to. So if, if when you were choosing your pile, if you were called to pile two, you might want to go over there and listen to me ramble, okay? When I'm, what happened here, it was really funny because I chose only four of these cards for each pile, but I was wondering what happened to the other two for pile two and come to find out they were in this pile. I just didn't know it. So as spirit wishes, you know, I'm going to allow it to happen, okay? So let's start with the rebel deck, okay? You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool, okay? So you are not beneath ancient teachings. I feel like you can benefit from it. Um, some good shit is about to happen, and it is. Don't let your issues fuck it up. And then you are going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Okay, so I feel like this is definitely where the night energy is coming in right here. You know, get ready and go to battle. This is your time. This is your time to show spirit in the world what you are made of. Do not allow yourself to be, you know, a wounded warrior anymore. Do not allow yourself to be defeated so easily. You're strong as hell. You can do this, okay? Um, this is really, really satisfying already. I really feel like, you know, you're working with your passion and you're working with your mental. Um, I really feel like some, you know, some real deep stuff is about to be revealed about yourself. Okay. I feel like, you know, whatever you are facing, you're going to have a solution quite soon. Okay. Whatever is happening, it's meant to change you. It's meant to transform you. You have renewal and rebirth. So just like the Phoenix, my favorite metaphor, you are rising from the fucking ashes. Okay. And everything's going to be okay. Like I feel like with the fire spirit, again, you know, when the Phoenix has had enough, it burns out. And then finally you are ready to fly. You will be reborn. All right, so just uh, let go and allow spirit to do all it needs to do. I feel like, you know, for most of you, your psychic abilities are developing and you've just got to stop being scared. Allow it to just happen. Remember to ground yourself. Remember to uh, protect yourself, okay? Whether that's crystals, visualizations, prayers, whatever you choose, protect yourself, okay? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You cannot make this shit up. Transformation. I laid out the cards, but my eyes are a little bad at night. I didn't see at the bottom of this card. Transformation. That is a freaking caterpillar. They are going to turn into a butterfly at the end of all of this crap. Okay. So guess what, honey? Life may be shitty now in your little cocoon, but once you blossom, 
once you come out of your cocoon, you are going to fly to, and you're going to be more beautiful. Your soul's going to evolve. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. So just have just a little bit more patience. Okay. I'm also getting, um, a message that something within the justice system, a settlement, a court case or something is going to come out to your favor. Okay. But again, she's pointing her sword upward. And then, you know, it's kind of, you know, her arms extended out towards patience. You need to have patience, okay? I feel like it could also be regarding an inheritance of a home, okay? Don't worry. Everything's going to resolve exactly to as it needs to be resolved, okay? But regardless, you are sailing into better times. You have New Day here with the dragonfly. And then this fairy right here with patience is... Like, she has dragonfly wings, so everything's going to be okay. I feel like whoever you're up against, just forgive them, okay? You don't know what the hell they're going through. If they're deciding to be dicks and put you through the shit, guess what? They are going to lose in the end, okay? Just keep your faith strong. Keep your faith in spirit, God, whoever you worship. And allow everything to unfold as it should, because there is a huge lesson behind this that you're going to learn. Regardless, fertility and satisfaction next to letting go. When you let go and let God, great things happen okay if you've done all you can and more and you know you just have no more fight left in you guess what you're going to you're going to benefit more things are just going to unfold and you're going to see that you know having patience and allowing yourself to forgive everyone who was involved in the situation actually brought abundance to you and more um, regardless you are heading for some type of abundance something is coming towards you let me see here and I feel like, you know, with your psychic development, I feel like, you know, spirit is letting you know the exact moves you need to make. And that was another message in pile number two. Okay, you just got to trust. You got to trust that everything that's happening is meant to teach you a lesson. And as I was preaching in the last pile, yes, preaching, you know, when something's going wrong, it's like instead of asking God, you know, why the hell is this happening in my life and blah, 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 say, you know what, God, what's the lesson? I want to learn it. So I don't got to learn this again. This can this can happen in so many ways, okay? It's just like, you know, when spirit sends you the same type of, you know, partner and they give you the same type of shitty relationship and you just keep constantly attracting it. But yet you fall for the same, let's just say you fall for the same bad boy. You fall for the same, um, sorry, I thought that was another helicopter going by. Um, you fall for the same type of person over and over again that's going to break your heart. That's spirit's lesson to you, okay? Um, when you allow people to continuously walk all over you, God's going to continue sending you people like that to see if you've learned your lesson or not. Are you going to allow them to walk over you or are you going to walk away and, you know, allow them to kiss the ground that you walk on better? I mean, that is up to you. Okay, regardless though, ground yourself, okay? Whether you got to meditate, do yoga, take a walk, go outside, listen to music while you... Um, just enjoy some scenery. Even if you're looking at a wall, visualize you're in a happier place. I feel like, you know, that's going to help you get your mind right, okay, for whatever you are facing, okay? Um, just know that this bad time is not going to last forever, okay? So definitely renew your faith, okay? At first, you know, in pile number two, it was kind of feeling like, um, it was kind of feeling like this wasn't a message for Mercury retrograde, but renewal and rebirth okay so that that's your re you know renewal rebirth everything's going to be okay everything's going to come out as it should in the end whatever happens is due to god's reasoning and you're not meant to understand it all at once <laughs> okay sorry about that that's my um son's alarm clock um on his watch okay but I really feel as well that you are going to gain so much abundance that you are going to actually find a new place to call home. Like, I feel like you're physically moving. You're physically finding a new place to settle down. And don't feel bad about it, okay? Allow yourself to follow your heart and go where you're needing to go. That way you can make that change and be happy finally. Don't feel bad about leaving anyone behind that needs to be left behind. Okay, regardless though, I feel like whoever you're up against, whoever's talking shit about you, whatever the case, I feel like they are going to be extending the olive branch. They want your forgiveness, okay? So just know 
that whether it's emotional, spiritual, or actual justice, it's coming out in your favor. And God has a big hand in this, okay? But you have to believe. Okay, and have patience. Okay. Alrighty, so for the cards, call bullshit on your bullshit. Oops. Okay, so want to get out of a rut? The first step is to get tired of the bullshit. Your bullshit, their bullshit, the world's bullshit. Spend time today honing your sense of deja vu. Once you can spot the old shit, you could stop that old shit. Okay, so again, going back to how I was saying, spirit will continue sending you the lessons. Sometimes you just got to let go and let God take over, okay? This is a part of your lesson. Your brain speaks total fuckery unless you turn your soul on. I can't agree more. <laughs> you, a human brain left unattended doesn't shut down. It goes berserk with bullshit thoughts that turn into bullshit actions. Ego will do its job of judging, separating, and accumulating things to define who you are without any help from you. But the soul? The soul needs your attention to be heard over that loud-ass ego. There's a reason most truly successful people meditate. Oh my god, meditate, meditate. You need yoga in your life. Meditate. Okay, um, I'm sorry. There's a reason why most truly successful people meditate, read inspiring books, focus on gratitude, and are of service to others in some way. It turns their soul on and makes them way better leaders, problem solvers, and functional humans. It also makes them way more fun to be around, okay? So yet again, it's like allow spirit to do his work. Allow spirit to take over, okay, if you've done all you need to do. Um, don't wallow in, you know, what's going wrong. Don't wallow what's not in what's not going your way, okay? Another thing is that you got to meditate to get your mind right. You know, it doesn't have to be some big ritual meditation. Just allow yourself to kind of, you know, allow yourself to just stretch. Allow yourself to just relax. Allow yourself not to worry about the situation, but instead allow things to unfold as they should. And I feel like, you know, this alone will help you clear your mind. Just like in pile two, one of the cards was confusion. Allow your mind to clear a little bit. Allow your mind to clear enough so you can think about your next step. Or that way you can get that feeling that everything's going to work out, etc. Okay, um, another thing again that I'm getting from this card is allow your ego to be put aside and forgive. Okay, you're going to feel that much more better and you're going to attract that much more abundance. <laughs> Be a badass love beam today, okay? <laughs> On the back. That's right. Today, it's your job to fill every room you go into with laser beams of love. If you can't do laser beams, then make your heart a bubble machine and fill the room with bubbles. If that doesn't work for you, then you should bring donuts to work. <laughs> Donuts make almost everyone happy. Go forth with your mission, grasshopper. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I think that spirit is just saying, you know, don't be ashamed to do little good things for people, okay? Doing little things is not beneath you. Um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just like, you know, even if you hate the people at your job, you know, bring something that everyone can enjoy and thank you for. It's not quite kissing ass. It's not quite, you know, sucking up to everyone. Okay. Because I'm feeling like some people have that mentality, but sometimes, you know, that little goodness that you spread out to people that you didn't quite agree with can help you go a long way in abundance and manifesting a better future for yourself. Remember, think of it as a spiritual bank with all your heart. Okay. Your debit card is your heart. When you do something with all your heart and allow, you know, and you don't expect anything in return, what's going to happen is the universe is going to reward you with 10,000 times as much. It happens. That's a big key in abundance. You know, just be truly grateful for what you have. And, you know, even when you don't agree with someone, do all you can with your heart to help them out in their time of need or just because. And the universe will see that and match that vibe. Okay, my pile number three, that is about it. Um, I am so sorry if that didn't make sense. It's midnight. I need to get to bed. And, you know, I try to put the messages out there as best as I could. You guys let me know, okay? But regardless, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading. 
Thank you for watching. And as always, take care and God bless, okay? Um, always come from a pace, uh, place of love and be love, okay? Stop spreading hate. Don't be hate. Be love, all right? I love you guys so much. Take care.